since the beginning of time, our ancestors across every culture have been looking up at the stars and dreaming. The stars have connected us, created stories that formed cultures, and caused us to explore in many ways. And now, 200,000 years after the first of our ancestors emerged, here we are sitting in this stunning outdoor amphitheater, with the red rocks dropped behind us, and the dark skies and the stars above us, and the ability to look up and dream, just like our ancestors did. Now, as beautiful as this vantage point is, imagine what it would be like to be beyond Earth's atmosphere, floating in the vastness of space. Looking back down at Zion National Park, Utah, the US, North America, and the whole world, floating, glistening, like a jewel with the brightest colors you've ever seen in front of you. In every direction otherwise, staring into the stars in the blackness of infinity. As the executive director of Space for Humanity, I think about this question every day. What would it be like to see our Earth from the outside. And it turns out that when astronauts go to space and look back down at our planet and see it as a floating, interconnected, fragile ball of life in this infinite universe, it causes a transformation in their mind, a cognitive shift called the overview effect. Astronauts come back down with a completely new perspective about everything that is happening on our planet and all of our greatest challenges, from the environment to political issues and humanitarian issues to even just their place in their local communities. Astronauts see all of our greatest challenges from the actual context that they are happening on and a lot of times come back down with a call to action. Albert Einstein once said, we can't solve the problems we've created with the same level of thinking that created them. And from a systems change lens, looking at the Earth as the complex, interconnected system that it is, the most powerful way to create greater change in this system is by expanding our perspectives. I have spoken with dozens of astronauts, and each of them have told me that their lives have never been the same after returning from space. Astronaut Anusha Ansari, she was the first Iranian woman to go to space. She came back down, and she is now the CEO of XPRIZE Foundation, which is an organization working to create moonshot solutions to our greatest challenges through incentive competitions. Astronaut Scott Perizinski, he went to space, and he came back, and he spoke adamantly about the importance of having political leaders have access to this experience, because he saw how important this, pers this perspective is for our leadership. And astronaut Dylan Taylor, the founder of Space for Humanity, he just went to space in December with Blue Origin on an 11-minute rocket ride. He came back down, and he said that this was the single most transformative experience of his life. And because of it, he is more dedicated than ever to giving as many people as possible access. I believe that space is a tool for transformation, and it is a much needed transformation. We can get this type of transformation in a lot of ways. We can get it through meditation. We can get it through traveling to other cultures. We can get it through educational programs or a powerful TED Talk. But the truth is, we need all the tools that we can get right now. And this is that moment for human spaceflight. 2021 marked a new era in human spaceflight, thanks to companies like Virgin Galactic, 
Blue Origin, SpaceX, and Axiom, more and more people are now getting access to this experience through private companies. We had the first openly LGBTQ person go to space, Cameron Bass. We had the youngest person go to space at 18, and the oldest, William Shatner, at 90, go to space. And for football fans in the audience, Michael Strahan went to space. <laughs> and so Space for Humanity is working to sponsor people from all over the world, people who wouldn't otherwise have access, to go and have this transformative experience and have them come back down and plant seeds around the world, sharing this perspective far and wide, and using it as a way to address challenges that they care about. We just closed our applications in February, and we've had 7,000 people from more than 100 countries and nations apply to this program. Over the next few months, we'll be selecting our first crew, so that'll be four to six people, depending on the flight providers. We intend to fly full cohorts, so we want the most diverse group of people that humanity has to offer going to have this transformative experience together as, as a symbol for how space can unite us. We'll prep them prior to their space flight. We'll prep their minds to get ready for this transformative experience. They'll go to space. They'll have that overview experience. They'll come back down, and we'll support them in integrating it and in really making sense of it. And then each of them will carry out their own social impact program addressing a cause that they care about. The collective impact of our citizen astronauts is our greatest legacy. We have support from incredible leaders across the industry. Just this past year, after Richard Branson went to space, he came back down and he said, I want to give anyone in the world access to this experience. So anyone can enter to win by paying $10 to win a pair of tickets to go to space. Space for Humanity was the beneficiary of that campaign, bringing in $1.7 million for our mission. Yeah, thank you. And in a few months later, I got to go alongside Richard Branson to show up at the winner's home. Out of 160,000 entries, Keisha from Antigua won this experience. So we got to knock on her door, tell her that she won, and she'll be bringing her daughter with her as her plus one. So as of 2021, we have entered a new era in space exploration. From 1961, when the first person went to space, to 2020, there were eight people total who went to space commercially. So eight people who bought a ticket and went to space. In just the year of 2021, there were more than 20 people who went to space commercially. And this number will only continue expanding. So we started by looking up at the stars, now I want you to look around you. I believe that in the next 10 years, every single person sitting here will know someone who has been to space. And if going to space is not part of your life stream, what else can you learn from the overview effect? What can you, to, what can you do to zoom out and view your life and all of life from an expanded perspective? What can you do to come back down to this present moment through a greater lens? My ultimate life's goal, my ultimate dream, is that every single person on this planet actually knows and understands that we live on a planet. And they understand that it is fragile it is finite, it is so special, and it is stunningly beautiful. And it is an absolute miracle to be here. Thank you.